Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day.
Welcome back! Interested in a tour of the Repcon Museum? Or did you have a question about the company I could answer? Goodbye, Rocketeer! Be sure to visit again! Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. Evening. Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been finding the information in the data store useful. Later. Evening. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Bye. Hey, Ramos. Behave yourself this time, Veronica. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every Initiate learns when they start training. What about it? I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Second part, what are you talking about? That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to head scribe Taggart, who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to their subordinates, we'll have him. It's a travesty is what it is. Every second we sit on our hands down here is another second that we're not fulfilling our sworn duty. 
It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I'd do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last Elder's style, either. Elijah was a strange one. His even becoming Elder was highly questionable, seeing as how he was a scribe. Typically, only paladins are eligible. But an exception was made in his case on account of him being a genius. Unfortunately, whatever scientific acumen he had didn't extend to tactics. Trying to defend Helios was a blunder of the worst kind, and many brothers lost their lives because of it. Many of the senior paladins, myself included, advised him to fight a retreating action, but he refused to budge. Said he almost had it working. We never did find out exactly what he was talking about. When the perimeter was finally overrun, the Elder had simply vanished. Helios was the worst goddamn action I've seen in a long, long career of fighting. Just as I thought, McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly what I've been looking for. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me, thereby breaking the chain that binds. With this, I can finally have him removed as Elder and end this ridiculous lockdown. No. Your role in this is done. The rest is up to us. There's much more for me to do to make the transition as smooth as possible. Come back in a few days, and I should be firmly installed as Elder. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter, and moving forward we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Typically, we take in the young so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. The condition is that you must complete a task. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family, make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, Report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons.
Uh-oh. Come on! What can I do for you? I'm here to make sure the bunker stays in one piece. I'm a master at repairing things, so I check in every so often to make sure all the equipment here is in top working condition. If you ever have any gear you need fixed, don't hesitate to ask. Not always. I have other places I need to be, but I stop by every few days or so. Sure thing. can I do for you? Later. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. Hey. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to search you before letting you in. Only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Then you're not gonna shop here.
Uh oh. Mr. For the Brotherhood. Sorry, please get the point. The second half of your pain is late, and I want to know why. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Well done. This is a small step in the right direction, but it's damn good to move forward again. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood, for your meritorious service in its name. Normally there'd be a ceremony and such, but everyone is too busy at the moment for such frivolity. I can give you this, however. Your very own suit of power armor. We can't spare our best, but I had the knights assemble this one for your use. Which reminds me, you don't even know how to use these, do you? Here, I'll show you. It's easy once you get used to it. First, we'll start with putting it on. There, I think you got the hang of it now should be able to use any type of power armor you come across using what you just learned. Very well, then. In addition to the armor, I've given the order that all of our arms and equipment be made available for your purchase. Finally, while you are now a member of the Brotherhood, I cannot ask any more of you. I'm sure you have goals of your own outside these walls. You are free to come and go as you please, though I hope you'll return to us someday in a more permanent capacity. I wish you the best outside brother.